I think the battle over school choice and educational options began when Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court, Earl Warren, announced the unanimous opinion of the United States Supreme Court in the five consolidated cases of Brown v. Board of Education. Now there's a direct correlation, I believe, between Brown v. Board and charter schools. Once Brown was on the book, so to speak, that we spent decades trying to come up with ways, presumably, to educate children of color, quality, opportunities, options, choice, charter, presumably as a way of helping school boards and local governments implement what they thought the court meant. We really do know how to educate children. It is not rocket science. But the one thing it requires the most is something our nation has yet to make happen. And that is political will. And a recognition that this is a collective action. That if we have children who are failing, who are not achieving, who are not successful, we all pay the price for that. So let's not suggest that there's something so terribly wrong about another type of public schooling that has been proven to be successful particularly here in Boston. As a nation, shouldn't we be focused on the best public options to ensure, particularly those children whose parents don't have economic options, that their children would still have a pipeline to educational excellence? Because this is a country that has to belong to all of us.